In our continuing coverage, stores still picking up pieces after recent storms swept through the River Valley. KWA's Lauren Craycall is at an antique shop in the Ozark where vendors lost thousands of dollars in the midst of the flooding but are still holding on to hope to get the store back up and running. The rustic edge in Ozark has over 40 different vendors who have put in blood, sweat, and tears into the store. I spoke with the store owner and vendors who say without the community's love and help, they probably would have given up. One vendor I spoke with even began crying as she was talking about the Ozark community's outpour. Well, your first thought when something like this happens is to just kind of cave and say, okay, I'm done. Kim Brown is the store owner of the Rustic Edge Antique Shop in Ozark. There's about two inches of water still in there. We are trying to get all our stuff out at this point. After recent storms in the River Valley completely destroyed her store, Brown says she lost so much, but not nearly as much as some of her vendors who have lost everything. Most people would want to give up and walk away and say, no, it's just not something I can do. Not one of my vendors is doing that. They're all wanting to come back. Angela Dunavant used to be the owner of Rustic Edge, but is now a vendor there. She says she is so thankful no one was there when the roof collapsed during the storms. These things that are destroyed are just things. I know they're important to vendors, but human life is so important, and that's why a strong community rallies back whenever they need to, and that's what it's all about. A community sticking together, which according to both Dunavant and Brown, is the only thing keeping them going. They both say through all of this, the Ozark community has done everything to try and help. We've had the community outreach to us, and we are reaching out to them. And we thank everybody from law enforcement to the fire marshals that came in to everyone. The minute everybody heard, I mean, as the day progressed that, you know, that morning, everybody just kept saying, you know, no, you're, you're coming back. You're coming back. And so, yes, we're coming back and we will be back as soon as possible. Brown says the store's goal is to be back up and running sometime in October. She says when it does, it will be bigger and better. In Ozark, Lauren Craycall, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. All right, thank you so much, Lauren, for that report. Well, how